There are practical things that families can do to avoid enabling their loved one to continue in addiction, and that will help their loved one into a place where they can choose recovery. One of the major things for families is learning to detach with love. My family, whenever I was in my addiction, they, they loved me, but they loved me from afar. They didn't come to my rescue when I picked up the phone and said, hey, I'm out here in the middle you know, of the street. You can't keep rescuing an addict. I mean, they've got to deal with what's going on. You know, all you can really do is pray for them. And, and when they come on their own for help, you know, be there for them when they finally realize that they need some help. There's always comes a time when you have to leave the person or let the person do what they're going to do. And that's really, really hard. I don't, I don't say that lightly. I've seen people that you never think would, would recover get into recovery. I mean, years, decades of active opiate addiction, heroin addiction, alcoholism, and then something clicks with them and they get in recovery and the process starts. I guess for families, it's always a question of um, when to let go. Do you let the person struggling take you down as well and take the rest of your family down as well? I believe with all my heart that I got in recovery because I know of at least one person who loved me dearly that never stopped praying for me. And that's my grandmother. And she didn't confront me a lot. She didn't really um, address the issue. But I found out later that she prayed for me every single day. Is there anything more powerful that you can do for a loved one? I don't think so.